Tottenham's sixth signing of the summer. They started off with a two-pronged attack. Fabio Paratici, the sporting director and chairman Daniel Levy, going into the summer market to bring in the players they thought that Antonio Conte would need to compete at the highest level and challenge in the Premier League. And guess what? They've certainly attacked the window and done an incredible job. £115 million has been spent by Tottenham. Conte wanted more experience, more knowledge, more know-how and a strength in depth for his squad for the forthcoming campaign. And he certainly got it. The latest signing, Middlesbrough's Jed Spence, who predominantly plays at right back, but can also play down the right-hand side on the wing, can play as a right wing back. He's also played at right side of centre half. So he brings a versatility towards Tottenham now as a defender. He can score goals, as you can see just there. He knows where the back of the net is. And after a hugely successful campaign with Nottingham Forest, where he was on loan last season, he's got his Premier League move. It's a £12.5 million deal, potentially rising to £20 million. And he signed a contract that will keep him at White Hart Lane until the summer of 2027. He joined Middlesbrough just 17 years old. He spent last season on loan at Nottingham Forest, where Neil Warnock famously said, you'll either be non-league or Premier League. Jed Spence very much Premier League right now. He played 46 games for Steve Cooper, was a huge part of that successful team that got promoted to the Premier League and has caught the attention of England uh, as well as numerous scouts around Europe. He was one of the, the right backs that was on the list for a number of big Premier League clubs and teams in Europe, but it's Tottenham that have got their man. He made his uh, England under-21 debut March of this year shows the trajectory and progression he's made whilst under Steve Cooper. And now he is a Tottenham player, which has been confirmed in the last half an hour. Uh, versatility uh, that you mentioned there could be key to Conte's I mean, three. Sometimes a player who's used to playing as a fullback is very good, isn't it? Because they, they like to go wide. So what sort of uh, way will he fit in here? What sort of player is he? Well, that's the key thing with Jed. He's got that versatility. He can play along the back line. He can play further forward. But like all modern fullbacks, he has pace to burn, energy, passion and desire. He wants to get forward. He's happy to chip in with crosses from the right-hand side. He's happy to come in field and have a shot himself, as you've seen from, from that goal, uh, which won goal of the month as well last year in the championship. So he is someone that can get forward. He's quick. He's aggressive. He's strong defensively as well, which will be important. But he's got the engine that, that, that uh, Conte wants. He wants a player that can get up and down the pitch and give everything for the team. We know he's a passionate, honest boy. We've seen that through social media. So I think what you've got in Jed Spence is almost an emulation of Conte. He's, he's passionate, hungry. He wants to do well. He wants to be a big part of this setup, And he wants to prove himself at the very highest level. But Tottenham fans would be saying, hang on, this isn't the Tottenham we know. <laughs> uh, normal, normally Daniel Levy is trying to get those deals right up to the end to get the best bargain. Antonio Conte certainly getting back this summer. What, what is this about? And put this into context here. Well, at Sky Sports News, we're used to staying at Tottenham being one of those clubs that you can almost guarantee will be busy on deadline day, you know, whether it's Michael Bridge or Paul Gilmore or whichever reporter we send down to cover the club, you can almost be guaranteed of activity right at the last knockings of the window because like you rightly say, Daniel Levy's a fierce negotiator when it comes to transfers. He'll only ever pay what he feels comfortable and is suitable for the players that he wants to bring to the football club and if that means they have to wait and play a bit of a game of poker, then so be it. Whereas within this window, it's been a very different philosophy. They've gone out, targeted the players they've wanted and brought them into the football club. Like we say, this is the sixth signing that Tottenham have made during this summer's window. And you can see £115 million spent. Fraser Forster, a free transfer, the goalkeeper from Tottenham still. He had a brilliant season with, with Southampton last year. So still very much a player that can challenge Hugo Lloris or even be the Tottenham number one. Yves Basuma for £35 million from Brighton. He entered the last year of his contract. Been watched by a number of Premier League sides. Richarlison, the standout one, £60 million from Everton, the Brazilian international going to Spurs with the World Cup on the horizon. He'll want to prove himself there and prepare himself for the, the World Cup in the uh, winter. Ivan Perisic, Clement Longley on loan from Barcelona and then Jed Spence at the bottom. Now, looking at that list there, Rob, there's a fantastic mix. The youngest, 21, the oldest, 34, and a couple of 25-year-olds and a 27-year-old in Clement Longley. What you've got there is a really good balanced mix when it comes to their recruitment. It's just not young players that haven't played in the Premier League before. You've got experienced players that have played international football. You've got players that have got to the latter stages of the Champions League. Players that have played for some of the biggest clubs in world football. 
and you've got the, the youthful energy as well. So that is the, the most impressive thing about their business. The money they've spent, but the types of players that Antonio Conte has now got is a really nice mix and balance for this squad that he's building to try and compete at the very highest level. And good news for Spurs fans, not quite finished yet.